Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, Scousers don't get knocked out, and that has been the case for Patty Pimblett, at least to this point in his UFC career. Outstanding pedigree coming in, and he's got another big fight in front of him tonight, DC. And he's going to continue to get big fights, because when you have that thing, when you have that it factor about you, people want to tune in. That is what Patty Pimblett has in spades. But not only can he fight, not, I'm sorry, but not only can he draw people in, the guy can fight. He's a tremendous grappler, and he has confidence like not many guys that we've seen at such a young age in their career. And don't let the out-of-camp body composition fool you, because this man has a work ethic that rivals anybody in this division. Huge spot for Patty Pimblett tonight. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bobby King Green. And now we'll produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Patty the Baddie Pimblett. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Let's do it. All right, we are ready to go in round one, and so is the battle-tested Bobby Green. So much high-level experience. Pretty fast starter as well. James Krause can certainly attest to that. He was TKO'd by a Bobby Green body kick back in 2013. We'll see how Bobby Green chooses to attack this particular challenge here tonight. Uppercut there blocked by Pimble. Really striking action here, and good shot selection by the boxer. Man, that uppercut right through on the DJJ fight. That's one of his best strikes. He does a great job of hiding it. And the moment he sees an opportunity, bam, right up the middle, lands that beautiful uppercut. Now he's going full mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Pimblet's back in full mount. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Green. Big ground and pound. Mm, nice. 
Nice. Massive shot from the top. He's very accurate in the ground ball and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Wright right, has the guard closed here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pimblet. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And now he's got the back. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here Let's by Pimblet. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Right into side control. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Getting them out here. Pimblet's got his back again. Trying for a submission here. Oh, that rear naked choke looks like. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Change of the position. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Pimblet. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. We approach the one-minute mark in the first round. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. The triangle choke is very close to being locked in. Now he's got to get his feet locked together, and he's got to start to pull down on the head. He wants to finish this fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Relentless pressure from the top by Patty Pimble. Get that knee in. Trip. Twenty seconds left. Green's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Final seconds. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, he got the elbow through from top position. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Let this guy know who you are. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. Ready, I'm just buddy? saying. He's got a big Ready. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Round two here. Pimblet gets caught by the inside leg. Whiffs on the right hand. Big power shot there. Oh, and he found the target again. Punch got blocked there. Kick to the body now. Won't land. Green gets hit with a kick. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on.
looking for that left. It's not there. That's a perfect. Oh. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Pimblett gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Nice move punch. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Green. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water. That was a good thing. Blood in the water. You got to go through. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at your point. Big left hand there. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Great commitment to the kicking game. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the game. That's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's gonna be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Green. Slips that left hand. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Nice straight punch. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt from that early. Nice shot for the body. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly his final shot. I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen in this point. Seconds to go. Go back up. Push forward. Green's eye looks so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured order. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that round is in the books. Green's eye is really looking pretty bad after those five minutes. We'll see what the cut man can do about it. But if he doesn't get the swelling to subside, that eye could swell shut. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has Ready taken fight. far too many. Ready. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Green. There's the kick, it's blocked. the jab now, no good. Oh. 
Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is, as, that is as close to the turn that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon earlier. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. He passed the half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Pimblet's back in half guard. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his shirt. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. He's waiting down, ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's gonna get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Mm, that was nice. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Green's back in full mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, good ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. In the half guard. Lands the ground and pound strike. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Green's back in the full guard. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, you should accomplish so far. When you can land that many leg kick, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over like this. You start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right in the pole. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. He didn't like that left hand. Seconds winding down in round three. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Pimblett going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Oh, the head kick lands. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time the shot lands, it just burns. So it's... Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Unable to land the head kick there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Immediately gets the underhook. Fight another day. All right, close guard now. He's got his foot on the hips. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Look for him to try to move the arm across so he can stop his head pressure. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Pimler. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to swell. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Can't get it, good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. He's going Kabura now. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You gotta keep position over submission. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. Green's in half guard now. Oh, right into mount. Back mount now. Oh, man, beautiful job to target that already compromised spot. It's getting worse by the minute. Pimblets right back to the full mount here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off. Pimblets able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. Nicely done. Yep, gotta be very careful there. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. Under 20 seconds now to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pimbley. He's working on the arm bar. Look at that. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was 
able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool. And I guess if you are gonna be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never wanna be cut. You never wanna be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still gotta do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Unable to connect it. Checks the leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice kick. Green's cheek is just fauceting blood all over his face, all over the canvas. Like, where's the ringside physician? Maybe time to call on the doctor. I don't know. Big head to the end. He's going to every part of himself into these big leg kicks. the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, it's getting tight. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Green. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight, and I think at some point the referee is going to intervene with this. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early, and now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood. Got to be careful there. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Patty Pimm. Now he's going full mount. He's going to tag on bar here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Check these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Green's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how Pimblet's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. That submission was tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Well, what a great showcase for these two fighters and this division, down to the wire between two of the best. They show what type of fighter this division possesses. They should be very proud, both of them. He's got to start throwing down. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete? Though? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Landing strikes nicely here from top position.
Nice defense. Beautiful transition. Pimblets right back to the full mount. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. It's okay, it's okay. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Patty the Patty! All right, Buff, thank you very much. Well, he prioritized the finish here tonight, and no lack of effort. He certainly went for it, but a clean performance for the BJJ player tonight. Well, if you don't get the finish, you want this. Yeah. 30-27 across the board. Easy victory. Quick out of the office. What a tremendous performance. He did exactly what he needed to do in order to get this decision victory.